In this final installment of our 2022 New England adventure, we're going to visit Concord, New Hampshire's capital, a brief visit to Manchester, and then the seacoast, and the great New England meetup as we begin, slowly, the journey south. I'm free in my RV It is our last day in this area of New Hampshire so we're going to stop by Concord the state capital city, and Manchester, the most populous city in northern New England. Here we are, New Hampshire's capital, Concord. Let's try and find parking. We were supposed to get a private tour of the capital building, same as we did in Des Moines, but the scheduling didn't quite work out and now it doesn't look like it is going to happen. But still, let's check out the city, even though we may not do much here. Here we go. We'll park here. Here we are. The original Golden Eagle at the top was made out of wood and replaced in 1957 with this more element-proof version. Built in between 1816 and 1819. That's a long time ago. And here, we have uh, what seems to be a replica of the Liberty Bell. Let's check it out. This is the oldest state capital in which both houses of the legislature still meet in their original chambers. Well, there it is, the New Hampshire State House here in Concord. I would have liked to, to go inside, but then again, uh, we we just gonna see the outside for today. Same same we did in Vermont. And continue uh, towards Manchester. We might see a couple of things here in, in the state, but in the state capital and in Manchester, which is the largest city. And they have this arch here in front of the the capital grounds, city of Concord, New Hampshire. The arch is a monument to the soldiers and sailors of the state of New Hampshire. Let's go by the McAuliffe Shepherd Discovery Center and check it out. Actually, this is what I want to see. A Mercury Redstone rocket. This is actually a replica of the rocket that took New Hampshire native Alan Shepard into space back in 1961. That little black cone at the top. That's the capsule. Pretty scary, not to mention claustrophobic. The Discovery Center here was also named after New Hampshire's other famous astronaut, Krista McAuliffe, who died in the Challenger disaster. Next up, Manchester, New Hampshire's most populous city. We've heard about this place called Murphy's. They have 120 beers on tap. And the food is supposed to be decent, so we figured we'd check it out and maybe have lunch. So here we are. I want to say thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring this episode. If you are a creative person, like I'd like to think I am, you know our education never ends. 
there are always new things to learn, new skills to be mastered, and Skillshare is the perfect place to start. It is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for anyone who loves learning. Is there a specific skill you'd like to learn? Well, let's make 2022 a year of new learning, growth, and connection through creativity. Let's invest in ourselves and our personal growth. And I've been using Skillshare for several years now, and I've learned so many things that have helped me refine my craft. For example, YouTube success, script, shoot and edit with MKBHD by Marques Brownlee. I've been following Marques since he was a teenage YouTuber, and he's one of the most successful content creators that I've ever followed. So whatever I can learn from him, I know it's gonna be good. Now, the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click on the link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. So you can start exploring your creativity today. Now we came to the famous Murphy's in Manchester. The beer selection is legit, but there is no one here. So I think we're gonna go someplace else. Somewhere near the campground. Dovestown here, pretty busy little town. And we're just four and a half miles from the campground. And there is this restaurant called Putnam's Waterview Restaurant that seems pretty good. Chowder. Mm. Looks good. They use different crackers. Mmm, chicken Oscar. All right, well, that was really good. Now, the name Waterview, it's a little misleading because there's no real water view except from the parking lot. But the food's good, and everybody seems to be a local, which is always a good thing. Now, we have a live stream to do, so let's go back to the campground. Yeah, you see? The water view is only from the parking lot. Maybe if you get one of these uh, tables right there. Yeah, this is the view. It is actually beautiful. And that's it for this area of New Hampshire. Tomorrow we're moving to the sea coast, and uh, what's up with this rain? Today we're actually staying in Massachusetts, at Salisbury Beach Reservation. Only place we could find, actually, a viewer reserved it for us. Wow, what's going on here? This is Goffstown, where we had dinner yesterday. Had we known this was going on, we would have timed it better so we could participate in the festivities. Let me tell you, sometimes serendipity works. Sometimes it doesn't. The Massachusetts state line should be right around here, but I don't see a sign anywhere. Welcome to Massachusetts. Oh, there we go. We will be at our destination soon. And uh, come to think of it, besides Boston, we haven't really done anything in the Bay State. Ooh, these condos here to the left have beach written all over them, so we must be close. Nice campground, not very busy this time of the year. We're here for only one night, so let's go explore the seacoast. 
Well, explore might be too big a word. We're going to drive along it and see what it is like. This, by the way, is the mouth of the Merrimack River. That would be Plum Island and the Plum Island Lighthouse, which kind of looks tiny from this vantage point. And that's the Atlantic, the open ocean, the coast of Portugal some 3,000 miles over the horizon. Let's go for a ride along the 15 or so miles that comprise the New Hampshire sea coast. First, we have to drive through Salisbury, Massachusetts, which seems like your typical coastal beach town. Basically, one road, with houses and vacation rentals on both sides. All this on the right-hand side, oceanfront property. Coming up here on the right, and if you blink you might miss it, is the New Hampshire state line. And it is right here on this street, barely a quarter mile to the west, that we're going to have our great New England meetup. Actually, in a couple of hours. Let's get off the main road and see some of the oceanfront properties. This, by the way, Seabrook, New Hampshire. I think this is the only glimpse of the Atlantic we're gonna get from here. Let me tell you. I wish there was some place to park, but it is all private property. Very pretty, good looking houses. Maybe someday we'll be able to rent something around here. Ok, here we go. Let's park right here and take a break. Very nice anchorage here with all these good looking boats. Actually. Rather vintage-looking boats. And that would be the Seabrook nuclear power plant. Alright, let's continue. We're gonna go over this bridge spanning the Hampton Harbor Inlet onto the town of… you guessed right, Hampton. The good-looking campground on the right-hand side is none other than Hampton Beach State Park. We tried that one, but there was no vacancy. Alright, this is pretty lively, I wasn't expecting it to be this way this late in the season, and unfortunately we didn't allocate enough time for the sea coast. As I mentioned, we only have one night at the campground, so tomorrow we begin our journey south. This is just an overview, but I've seen enough that I know I want to return. And you may ask once again, what's the hurry? Well, we have to be back in Miami in exactly two weeks. And I want to explore some of the Atlantic coast on the way there. I can imagine this on a warm, sunny, summer day, full of sunbathers. I really like this part here with the seawall. Are those the Isles of Shoals I see in the distance? They sure are! There must be pretty good surfing around here. We are now in Northampton State Beach.
This is what I'm talking about. Take a look at all these mansions. That's probably very old money right there. This is called Fox Hill Point. And we are now in Rye Harbor. Let me tell you, I'm liking the New Hampshire sea coast more and more, even on this gray, somewhat gloomy day. Let's park once again, really quick. Ooh, that water's gotta be cold. Is it me, or is it starting to look like Maine a little bit? And those must be the Isles of Shoals once again. Yep, this rocky coastline definitely reminiscent of Maine. I mean, we're just a couple of miles away from the state line at this point. All right, let's swing by Portsmouth and then we go to our meetup. By the way, there are so many state parks along this short coastline. I mean, many more than I expected. Here we go, public parking, but it is full. It is very lively. This, by the way, is US-1. And we're going to drive on the Memorial Bridge spanning the Piscataqua River into Maine. Just because. By the way, where's my Welcome to Maine sign? It looks like they forgot again. But at least we've got a lobster to greet us. Okay, back to New Hampshire we go. We did stop for some tax-free wine and liquor, and then, after a mediocre lobster roll, we met up with a bunch of awesome people at Brown's Lobster Pound. Good morning. Pretty chilly morning here in New England. Especially since all we have is this hoodie. Uh, but... Um, Today is probably going to be our last full day in, in the New England States. We're going down to Connecticut. And then heading south, hugging the coast. I thought we were going to have a beautiful sunrise, but we still have the remnants of last night's storm. It wasn't a storm, but it rained quite a bit. I was going to stay here for a few minutes, see if we get a nice sunrise. There's a faint hint of a sunrise right there. We decided to come to the actual beach by the ocean, but still, 
No sunrise. Today we begin a new phase in our... Feet. Merge onto State Reservation Road. Never fails. Today we begin a new phase in our uh, fall 2021 trip here. And as you know, you know, there's no wrong way to RV and a lot of people like to stay at places for weeks and months at a time, sometimes the whole season. But we are kind of restless. I, I get that itch to hitch from time to time. And as much as we've enjoyed uh, New England, especially New Hampshire and Vermont, uh, it's time to move, to move to a different part of the country, namely back south. And uh, for the next pretty much two weeks, almost two weeks, it's gonna be pretty much go, 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 slowly, but go, go, go through the, through the blue highways and back roads of, uh, of the coast. And, uh, and I just ran a stop sign because I didn't see anybody coming. In any case, uh, that's pretty much what we're gonna do. We may not even unhitch. We may not even unhitch for the next 10 days, but uh, you know we're gonna see as much as possible with trailer in tow. You know, hugging the east coast of the United States, which is a part of the country that, to be honest, we haven't really explored all that much. The, the, the east coast, so. Down south we go. Enjoy the ride. Over the next week or so, we're going to explore what is known as the Mid-Atlantic Coast, from Long Island to the Outer Banks. But more about that on the next episode. Until then, thank you so much for watching. And see you on the road. I'm free in my RV. Yeah, I'm riding, riding, riding. I'm riding in my RV, my RV, wherever I want to be. Cause I'm free in my RV.